Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinyl TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing and we appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. I want to show you what we got here. We got this gear. This is HP Office Jet 8025E. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's multi-tax, four in one if you like. In the sense you can copy, scan, print and fast from this gear. This printer is for office use, for office work, for student work, for businesses. Basically, I'm going to give you an overview of this printer, then show you step by step how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network. I'm going to turn this printer around. At the back, at the back we have the power cable, three pin power cable is included in the packaging. Okay, now just above it we have the USB cable spot. Unfortunately, USB cable is not included in the packaging. We have this at Vinet Tech Store, free delivery here in UK. This is the USB cable. This is what it looks like. Canon can use it. Epson can use it. Brothers can use it. It's universal. We have this at Vinet Tech Store. Okay. Now, uh, uh, just by the side is the power cable, the spot for you to connect the broadband to be able to connect this printer to fax, okay? So you can put your telephone line to go in here and broadband line, okay? This is the serial number for this printer. This printer is with ADF, automatic document feeder. The essence of it is you scan and copy multiple pages of documents in one go okay so you copy and scan multiple pages of documents in one go leave this printer and this is the scanner flat belt scanner you copy load id card you copy your id card the document just stick it on top of the scanner select the function from lcd screen and they will do the job open this printer up this way once you open it up the end cartridge holder will come right in the middle for you to change it. It does this automatically, okay? And this printer is using end cartridge 912. If you have any paper jam, open up this section, check for any paper jam and debris. If you can't see anything, just gently close it, okay? And close this printer this way. Once you close it, open up this printer, lift it up this, okay? Open up this and bring the cover out so you can also check for any paper jam and debris by checking paper jam and debris right here okay so you can check for any paper jam but before you do that make sure you remove the bottom casket make sure you remove the cover okay this is the bottom casket you load or paper tray if you like you load various sizes of paper right here okay and uh, you can extend it by pressing this button here for you to extend it to various size so you can load a4 paper four by six various sizes of paper okay you just need to adjust it if you want it completely you need to press this okay if you want it completely inside okay so this is how this work okay and use the cover to cover it up okay so it's inside completely inside so i'm going to bring it outside if you want to extend it like i mentioned you just need to extend it okay Okay. okay it's inside okay so this is the bottom paper tray now what i want us to do but before that i also want to mention like this printer you can print up to 20 prints per minute for black color and 10 prints for color like I mentioned, this printer is dual band. You can connect it via Wi-Fi network, which we are going to do, or USB cable connection. With this printer, you have six months inked trial, six months trial included with this printer. The essence of it is you save up to 70% on ink. You will never run out of ink. They will send the ink to your home address when it's running out. But it's not free of charge. Cost is included. There's a cost applied and it's a subscription it starts with 0.99p 
euro okay sometimes i think here in uk it starts from one pound 29 if i'm not mistaken but check i uh, do use pay as you go okay for ink okay a lot of people do ask me what I, what so i can get the ink from amazon.co.uk or you can also get compatible ink okay now you can see this blue light that is flashing signify that this printer is not yet connected to wi-fi network i do get a lot of questions from people asking about wi-fi so right now what we need to do is for us to connect this printer to wi-fi network we need to use our mobile device okay so we need to use our mobile phone and use your mobile phone so first of all before we start doing anything i want us to basically switch off switch off your mobile data and turn on wi-fi network make sure that the printer is on okay so what i'm doing right now is so switching on the wi-fi network my office so switch it on okay likewise switch on your location okay and turn off the mobile data okay switch off the mobile data is the other thing you need to do and uh, so that sometimes the mobile data interfere with the connection okay once you've done that the next thing we need to do is i want you to, us to go to play store okay so go to play store on your phone okay and once you're in the play store type hp smart app type hp smart app and this is hp smart app it's already downloaded on my phone so download it on your mobile device okay click it open once it's downloaded click it open okay and right now this is hp smart app is getting ready okay now the next we need to do is basically you can see a bell and a plus sign okay so click plus sign once you click plus sign, it will ask us choose the type of printer to add to HP Smart App. So you can set up a new printer or add printer that is already set up. So what we're going to do is set up a new printer, click get started. Once you click get started, it was asking us right now, how do you want to connect this printer? You can connect it via Wi-Fi or Ethan cable. Select Wi-Fi and click continue. Okay now this is house check it will tell you get the printer ready make sure the printer is on flat surface then plug it on and power on connect your mobile device to wi-fi network turn on nearby location permission and precise location bluetooth on your mobile device allow access when prompted hp require this permission to find and set up your printer your location is not being sent to hp okay so this is the house check things you need to make sure you you do before you proceed so click on continue okay and once you click continue it will start to look for this printer and we can see right now this printer is found okay so click on the office jet pro 208020 to be precise so this printer is 8025e okay but it, it start from this side it start from 8020 okay so select on it so right now we find the printer what we need to do right now we are going to put the password details i have the details here sometimes people ask me where do you get this information you get this network or your wi-fi password from your internet provider which i'm going to put now okay then we we go from there okay so once you put the password okay click enter okay click continue now it's asking us bluetooth is required to set up your printer click continue okay so right now hp allow hp to enable bluetooth click allow so right now it's turning bluetooth on okay and it's right now it's turning bluetooth on and it's finding the printer now printer is found okay now the next thing is is preparing the printer is the next thing is doing okay right now it's asking us an app is attempting to set up this printer okay so right now i can see it's telling us an app is 
tap the check mark on your printer display. So we need to click allow. Okay, click allow. Okay, printer prepared. The next now is doing is obtaining IP address. And if you look over, you can see this printer is connected because a steady blood here is what we can see. It's no longer flashing. So right now, this printer is actually connected. Here we go. Printer is connected to Wi-Fi network. You can see. Okay. So this blue light now signifies that this printer is no longer, is right now connected to Wi-Fi network. And also it will show you from the mobile device that this print, printer connected to Wi-Fi network. Once you see this sign, on your mobile device then you know that this printer is right now connected the next thing you need to do is click on continue okay so click on once you click continue it will connect to hp service so what is doing right now is getting the necessary information and checking the printer status. Okay, so right now we need to accept, agree, all terms and conditions, accept all. Okay, here is introducing HP Plus. Now, with HP Plus, okay, so it's asking to activate HP Plus. I won't activate this right now because this is tutorial, but I will encourage you to do this if it's your printer and you must do it within seven days. So I'm going to skip do not activate because uh, I don't want to activate it because uh, it's tutorial, okay? So right now, once you don't click continue, now it's telling us about printer dynamic security. So click continue and go ahead. Now it's registering the printer. Now, welcome to HP account. So, use your HP account to enroll Instant Ink, okay, after setup. Now, because this is tutorial, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to skip this offer. So, just please wait, okay, so it's getting printer registered on my HP account. Okay, now, this printer automatically ship you ink for two months. This is an offer, so I'm going to do not enable this delivery, okay? I'm going to decline it, okay? Nice. I want to remind us about this. I'm going to skip the offer. The reason, like I mentioned, I'm skipping the offer is because this is tutorial. So I will encourage you to do what you can. I mean, select the, the, the function or things you need that is very beneficial to you. Right now, agree to auto-update. Okay, so agree to auto up, automatic update. Here we go. Printer setup complete. Let's print. So if you want to print document right now, you can go ahead and print document. But I'm going to skip printing page. Okay, right now, print from other device. So by sending the link, not right now. Okay, so right now, this printer is ready. You can see this printer. I'm going to show you on my next video. The printer is there right now. Okay, once you select on it, you will see the printer. Alignment is recommended. So I'm going to show, show you on my next video how to load the paper tray and for us to complete the alignment head so that this printer will function properly. If you're happy with this tutorial, please do consider to subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed. Thank you.